Palantir is more than 50% below its 52-week high with an almost $40 billion market capitalization. The company has also been one of the most popular technology stocks for the past few years. And despite this, the market's dislike has continued growing. As you will see throughout this video, I believe this company could be one of the most valuable hidden gems and worth paying attention to for the long run. There may never be a company like this in the future and let me explain why. So Palantir was founded in 2003 after their anger from the events observed through 9-11 and started building their software primarily for government institutions and intelligence to assist in counterterrorism by any means possible. At this point in time, Palantir's only source of revenue was through secretive government contracts. However, since that point in time, Palantir has expanded their operations into commercial enterprises as they noticed a lot of similarities and overlaps with their applications. Now, Palantir's revenue comes from both government contracts and commercial enterprise contracts. Palantir has two main software platforms, Palantir Gotham and Palantir Foundry. So Palantir Gotham was their first software platform and was designed for defense intelligence use cases. Palantir has stated that this kind of platform helps agencies find needles in thousands of haystacks. They also noted that Gotham helped soldiers in Iraq and Afghanistan to map networks of bomb makers and insurgents through the deep hidden patterns of data sets, helping the army save time and lives. Since this mission, Gotham has expanded into defense operations and mission plans. During this time, Palantir found that Gotham could also be applied in Airbus business as their planes require millions of parts assembled in multiple factories in different countries. However, Palantir decided to make another software platform that is better tailored to commercial enterprises. This platform was labeled Palantir Foundry. So Palantir Foundry transforms the way in which organizations interact with their information by creating a central operating system for their data. Palantir enables their customers to construct their own models quickly and and easily from countless sets of data points. Furthermore, Palantir software is used by 139 government and commercial institutions in over 40 industries, ranging over 150 countries. Palantir works with the US government and several other allies aboard, as well as the world's most important reliable companies. Lastly, Palantir has stated, we are not in the business of collecting, mining, or selling data. We build the software that enable our customers to integrate their own data that they already have. Now let's talk about their financials. Between 2008 to 2018, that is 10 years, Palantir was able to generate $51.9 million in revenue from government contracts. However, in the two years following this, they earned $179.9 million in government contracts. Once Palantir was able to get the ball rolling with these agencies, Palantir was able to both expand and renew existing contracts to earn more revenue. I believe that the same thing will happen with Palantir's commercial operations. Once they start to get a large number of big enterprises renewed, renewing their contracts for bigger bucks, I believe that Palantir will start to grow their revenues extremely quickly and attract new clients left, right, and center. These contract renewals are so important because essentially they mean that Palantir met and or exceeded expectations, and these companies now believe that Palantir is vital to their business operations, so look out for the news around renewals. What's more is that Palantir currently has a huge opportunity ahead of them as they continue to increase their presence in the commercial sector, partnering with some of the largest enterprises in the world, such as vehicle automaker Ferrari and oil producer BP, Palantir plans to provide these businesses with the software that they need to do their jobs as efficiently as possible and sees large growth potential in this industry. The company has said many times that they are focusing on building partnerships with enterprises that are willing to undergo structural changes within the organization. To simply put it, the company has a huge market ahead of themselves in the commercial sector and their stock should do well on the news breaking of new partnerships between Palantir and commercial enterprises. If you are enjoying this video so far, please make sure you give it a like. Now let's talk about Palantir's business model. So Palantir has developed a business model that focuses on acquiring contracts and expanding their services and has three main phases. Number one, acquire customers. Palantir has expanded their sales force largely over the past couple of years and is actively pursuing negotiations with companies that they can provide long-term value to. Number two is the expand phase. Once Palantir has a potential potential customer on the hook, they move them along to the expand phase. So Palantir installs their software in these enterprises and teaches them the ropes. Of course, this requires a large investment from Palantir to incorporate it. Finally, number three is the scale phase. So the companies in this stage are generally hands off, meaning that they can operate the software without much help. Companies tend to find the most value in this stage and Palantir makes the best margins on this stage. To wrap things up, I believe Palantir could be one of the most valuable hidden gems of this next decade. And their next barrier
carrier is going to be reaching profitability, which is expected to happen soon. And once this happens, we could see a wave of investors interest begin to develop. As of right now, I have already established my position in Palantir and will be holding for the long term. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and consider subscribing for more content on Palantir and other stocks. Keep in mind, this is not financial advice and this video is only for entertainment purposes.